Hello, this is New Vision TV. I am Lynn Komjisha. Uganda will for the first time host the Global Health Security Agenda Conference from the 25th to the 27th of October 2017 at the Commonwealth Resort Munyonyo amid a scaring outbreak of Marburg fever. As the country waits for the resolutions from the meeting, New Vision TV looks at the dangers posed by this highly fatal disease. The primary goal for Global Health Security Agenda is to support countries to build their capacity to prevent, detect and respond to emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases and public threats and contribute towards a safe world for all. For the first time, the Global Health Security Agenda is being held in a state of an active outbreak of an infectious and potentially a highly mortality disease. Uganda is currently experiencing an outbreak of Malbec virus disease with one confirmed case in Kwen district. There is a confirmed case of Malbec virus disease in the country and this was confirmed after running a series of tests. The laboratory tests were conducted by the Uganda Virus Research Institute which confirmed that one person has died of the Marburg virus disease, a type of viral hemorrhagic fevers. One case of the disease has been confirmed in Chemron village, Moyok Parish in Kapitura district. Health Minister Ruth Acheng says preliminary investigations found that the deceased had nursed a 42-year-old brother who died on September 25th. The deceased's brother was reported to be a hunter who carried out his activities where there are caves with heavy presence of bats. However, no samples were taken off his body. According to Acheng, the high-level ministerial meeting presents a unique opportunity for participants to experience the outbreak firsthand and support the country with their own experiences and research on how to better manage outbreaks. In the past, Uganda has experienced and has been able to contain outbreaks including Ebola, Malbec yellow fever, Congo crimin, hemorrhagic fever and the current Malbec outbreak. The first case of Malbec fever was in October 2012. The outbreak was in districts of Kabale, Kampala, Ibanda, Mbara, and Kabarore, and nine people died out of the 18 cases. The second outbreak was in October 2014 in Kasese, where the health worker died and over 90 people were quarantined. For the onset of the outbreak, the Ministry of Health, working with partners, has undertaken a number of measures to mitigate the current threat. A rapid response team comprising of highly experienced epidemiologists, risk communication experts, case management, infection control and prevention experts, ecological environmental experts, laboratory specialists, among others, were deployed in Queen and Captura districts. An isolation ward at the Captura District Hospital and Caproni Health Center 4 in Queen District have been established to handle cases. The government has also increased sensitization in affected communities and among health care providers on the clinical symptoms of patients with Malbec virus disease. According to Achen, the country has the capacity to effectively handle the Malbec outbreak and calls upon the public to remain very calm. The ministry calls upon the general public to remain calm but be on alert amidst this epidemic. And in sports news, Uganda's Christakis Fitidis finished sixth in the Zambian International Rally. The 65-year-old is the third Ugandan to finish on the Africa Rally Championship podium after Charles Mohanji, who won it in the 1999, and Jas Mangat, who finished second in 2013. He returns to battle for the National Rally Championship next month, which he leads with 375 points. Fitidis is 70 times ahead of second placed Duncan Mubiru and 75 ahead of third placed Ronald Sebuguzi. <laughs> 
You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Pearl of Africa series we take a look at Itanda Falls. Itanda Falls is located in Jinja district along the river Nile. It is known as one of the most hidden gels of Uganda because it is hidden in the deepest part of Jinja. However, the falls offer various activities such as rafting, boat riding, sightseeing and as well as a memorable vacation. Take a look. <laughs> It is never easy for those who are not immediate locals to find Itanda Falls. But when you reach here, the site is unforgettable. This hidden treasure in the Pearl of Africa, particularly Ginger District, is located along River Nile. Just like the rapid speed of water at the Nile, Itanda's water pushes through the rocks as it flows through. Visitors to these falls engage in rafting and the brave ones even swim. But the rocks are very slippery because of the moss that grows on them. The sharp rocks and the rocket-like current can trap even the most experienced. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I'm Lynn Komjisha.